three guarantees in life, death, taxes, and this show will not be dull. Our guests are Marla Maples, Shar Jackson, Angie Everhart, and they're all part of the Ex-Wives Club. How did, how did you get with it, Marla? Producer Andrew Glassman came to me with an idea. When I heard the title, I said, don't put me in a box. I don't see myself just as an ex-wife. I see myself as so much more. And then he told me the creative reason for it. And it's truly about stepping out and sharing what we've learned to help other people. And that's what life is for. Just one more deal, honey, then we'll have time alone. Finish this one deal and then we'll have time for the family. There was never just one more deal. Today I'm here in Clearwater, Florida, Kevin's hometown. This is the office complex where he works, and today I'm going to surprise him and help jumpstart his career. Hi, do you know where Kevin is? Kevin's wife stabbed him in the back at the worst possible time while he was switching careers to be a mortgage broker. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. I'm in here. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Hello, Marla. Hi, baby. <laughs> you look great. Thank you. What I want to do with Kevin is I want to take the best lessons that I've learned from Donald. I watched my ex-husband be, you know, minus a billion in debt and come back up and rise again. I want to take what I saw him do and help Kevin turn his life around. I come bearing gifts. You're not going to believe it. New shoes, new clothes. And have another surprise. You're about to have a challenge. In the mortgage business, you can't just sit on your butt in an office all day long because your potential clients are all out there. So I went ahead and set up a promotional party for him tonight at 5 o'clock. You and I are going to go out, we're going to network, and we're going to get people there tonight. It's going to be sink or swim time. I mean, this is truly up to you. Okay, I can do it. Everything's about promotion. It's the name. It's all about branding. It's all about connecting with people. So we are going to hit the roads. We're going to knock on doors. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Marla Maples. How are you? We only have a few hours to get as many potential home buyers, developers, realtors, and contractors to our seminar. I used to be married to Donald Trump. I've been around real estate, and I'm helping promote my friend Kevin. Perkaby, I like your name. We are jump-starting his career today. I'm so thankful that Marla's here helping me. Honestly, this is something I never would have done for myself. She's out there walking straight up to people, stopping them on the bike path, serving them coffee. We're having a little cocktail reception for my friend Kevin Huckabee. She's good. It's nonstop. Hello. How are y'all? Why We're don't you guys you come by the open house? These are all your powerhouse realtors in this area. These are the people you need to know. All right. We're getting in there. We're meeting people, making an impact. We're having a reception. It's at the Island Way Grill. Uh, it's at 5 p.m. Tonight. Tonight, 5 o'clock. Tonight at 5. 5 p.m. I'm stressed out. Um, these are a lot of potential business people. But I, I have to be confident. I want to do a good job. I don't want to look like a bumbling idiot. I have to be confident. I need this for myself, for my children. This is everything for me. This is my career. It's a lot of pressure. Hey, baby. Hi, beautiful. Yeah, looks pretty nervous, with good cause. Everyone who's anyone in Clearwater Real Estate showed up. This is his big break. Now it's up to him. I know. I, I just have to be me. And you is pretty darn good. So take three deep breaths. That's the only way I got on the stage when I was doing Broadway. Because those breaths. three deep breaths gave me the courage to step out there and do what I thought was the most impossible. I'm very happy to introduce Kevin Huckabee to all of you. Thank you. That's so sweet. I need it, too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, I started out in the Navy. I was a nuclear engineer aboard the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower. I served in the Gulf War. When I got out of the Navy, I decided the mortgage industry was where I wanted to be. Life throws enough problems at us, um, enough things that we don't prepare for, and we don't want to go through a lot more when we're doing business. So work with somebody you can trust. Work with somebody who's going to communicate with you. I want to work honestly with people. And I believe in maintaining a friendship. I'm just so flattered to have you all here. Thank you. Bob, my heart. This is why we do what we do, to have moments like this where people like Kevin can shine. He stood up there, and he took control, and he was himself. 
and everyone loved him. That was perfect, and people got it. And someone's already asked me for your cards, so I need some more cards. Right. I need some more cards. <laughs> that joy. Oh my God, this is life changing. This is wonderful. Hello. Cool meeting you, Kevin. Welcome, nice and I you. gave your cards out to all these ladies. That's Thank you. Someday you can find out. I'd like to work with you. Later. Definitely. <laughs> Marla, talking to these people, people saying, hey, I'm going to call you. This is a dream. I, I started in this business and went three months without getting anything. No paycheck. This means the world to me. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to do this for you. Thank you. I did this for so many years with my ex-husband. And to be with someone tell. like you who appreciates it. Thank you. So. If we'd like to invite you out tomorrow to our properties. Great. We can go through some of our projects. I made a really important contact. Team's projects, about $200 million worth of projects. Wow. We'd like to stop by tomorrow, take you through it, and see if we can do a deal. Outstanding. I would love to. The next morning on a sunny Florida day, high atop a multi-million dollar condo, Kevin got the big break he'd been waiting for. We'll make you our preferred lender in a couple projects. The biggest thing with our clients is make sure you treat them right and follow up with them. With every that. client. If you do that, we'll have a long relationship. I appreciate it. Okay. Let's see if we get something started, man. Excellent. Thank you so much. They say time heals all. Today it's time for revenge. location for us, isn't it? Yeah. This is going to be a new challenge for you. Maybe you feel as if you'd like to have just a little bit of revenge, right? So I have something here. I'm hoping you realize. You recognize this? I know that. I know that very well. It explains Rolex. Yeah. That watch, he loves that watch. You know, he just, it's really something very important to him. What does this mean to you now? This symbolizes his selfishness to me. He got some money and he used it on himself. We don't have a lot of money. So when he chose to spend his money on himself, I was kind of shocked and hurt. You okay. know what we're gonna do with this watch today? No. When you needed his love and you needed his affection, he was buying watches. So what we wanna do is we wanna take this watch today and we're gonna melt it down Ooh. into something very special for you. Really? Okay, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> We've got a watch, and we're about to watch it burn. Oh my gosh. Destroying something that's so precious is uh, probably going to be hard for him. Just put it on the hook. All right, baby. There you go. This button lowers it in. Taking your revenge. I feel very powerful with that thing in my hand, moving it down into that molten metal. All the things that he's done to me, the hurt and the pain, I put up with a lot of crap through the years. I'm ready. He had a wife at home that he could come home and play house with, and he had a girlfriend that he could go out and Okay. How could he sleep with two women at once and pretend? I could not believe that he could treat me like that. <laughs> that makes me so angry.
We've done it, baby.